Welcome to the Cathedral of St. Matthew. This one only has three. Sing with all the saints in glory. Sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow said that story. To the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking. Soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. Sing with glory far exceeding all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. Good morning. We begin our prayers. We begin all prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God and Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. Every day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love The house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. 
was thrust down, thrust down in paling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my Savior. There are shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love is everlasting. The stone that the builders rejected, has he become the cornerstone? By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials so that the genuineness of your faith, most precious than gold that is perishable even though tested by fire, may prove to be praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith for the salvation of your souls. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. seen but still believe 
Our reading for the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you, Jesus says to his disciples. He breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. This Sunday, the octave of, Christ, of Easter, we, you and I, celebrate the great mercy of God. St. Pope John Paul II named this Sunday Mercy Sunday. And on this Sunday, we hear in all of our readings the great mercy and the love that God has for each and every one of us. In the second reading from St. Peter, we hear that we are to rejoice, and we rejoice in this Easter season. But he also tells us that we have trials to endure so that the gentleness and genuineness of our faith, more precious than gold, will be tested, tested in fire. He tells us of the great mercy and the love of God that he has for each and every one of us. In our responsorial psalm, we thank God for his love, for it is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say his mercy endures forever. 
Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. We are proof of his great mercy, the mercy that he has for each and every one of us, the mercy and the love that he showed us in sending his only begotten son to suffer, to die, and to rise again for the forgiveness of our sins, the great love and mercy that the Lord has shown. The Lord shows that mercy through all generations. He showed it to his own chosen people, the people that he chose to be his own when time and time again they broke the covenant. And in his great mercy and his kindness, they returned to him and he forgave them. He showed his mercy and love over and over again to all of us. Each and every time you and I go to the sacrament of penance to be reconciled with God, he shows his great mercy, his kindness, and his love by forgiving each and every one of us if we are truly sorry and we repent and we turn to him and ask for his help to do better each day. You and I come this Sunday and ask for God's mercy and kindness in our own lives, to know that he is always there. Thomas, do you believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and believe. That's you and that's me. We have not seen the Lord. We have known him in the breaking of the bread we have known him in his word. We have known him in his great love and his great mercy for each and every one of us. How blessed are we, those who have not seen but believe. Let us now stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living of the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now with faith and confidence, knowing that God our Heavenly Father hears and answers our needs, we place our petitions before him. For God's holy church, stronghold of trust in the everlasting mercy of God, that the gift of faith be generously shared with all who search for it, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who answer the call to a life of civic service, that they may ever be mindful of the sanctity of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the wounded, sorrowing, hopeless, that they know God's mercy through the community's love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those for whom we have promised to pray, especially Mary Lou Thomas, Camilla Flynn, Patricia Fuel, Dennis Mitchell, Mason Kinsey, Deacon Jim Fitzpatrick, Jim Green, Warren Williams, Marge Fisher, Edward Fetter, Barbara Morales, Ted and Jerry Kraus, Roman Rico Cruz, Jeanette McPherson, Gertrude and Ralph Worrell, Jody Mitchell, Sharon Edsel, Susan Clemens, Betty Wirt, Denny Hanback, Brianna Bowman, Kim Kozik, Mark Fralish, Jeff Waddell, and Donna Horvath, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, caregivers, police and firemen, for all first responders and for their safety during these days of danger, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the coronavirus and their families, that the God of mercy may be with them during this time, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that we may be good stewards and share our resources with our parish, our community, and those in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joe Garrow, George Lins Linsenberger, Mary Lou Billy Thomas, and Mary Ann Geffrich, members of our parish who died this past week. May they rest in eternity with all the saints and angels, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who celebrate Christ's victory, that faith light our lives and those of whom we love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs we hold in the silence of our hearts. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we, your people, place ourselves and all of our needs before you, relying on your infinite love and your mercy. We ask you all these things through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Christ the Lord is risen today, Alleluia. All on earth with angels say, Alleluia. Grace our choice and triumphs. Alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. Alleluia. Life's again our glorious King. Alleluia, where all death is now thy sting. Alleluia, once he died our souls to save. The battle won. 
Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest, O Sana in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, all gathered here and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, 
Cosmos and Damien and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty for the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints, it may us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On you stay, ye Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On you stay, ye Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On you say, ye Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Oh, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Hallelujah, that 
At Easter morn, at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia. For those unable to receive the Eucharist at this time, let us pray together the prayer for spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most sac holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since at this moment I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The day of resurrection it spread the news abroad, the paschal feast of gladness, the paschal feast of God. From death to life eternal, from death to heaven's height, our Savior Christ has brought us the glorious Lord of light. Our hearts be free from evil, that we may see the right, the Savior resurrected, in your eternal light, and his message plainly delivered calm and clear. Rejoice with me in triumph, be glad and do not 